Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Hype Train. Hype Train! Where we look at the trailers of movies that are on their way here and decide whether or not we're going to pull our train over at their station and give them our hard-earned money. Today, we're actually looking at Colossal uh, with Anne Hathaway. Yeah. Anne Hathaway. She's taking on the like role of a Russian mutant who was in Deadpool and X. No, no, wait, no. That's Colossus. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Her wife. <laughs> We're going to jump into the truck. Colossal um, has been Sorry. out. <laughs> I hate you just so much. There's um, Colossal has actually been out. Apparently, you said it's this movie's already done. It's this has only done like a tour around on uh, like Sundance or something. Like Virgil can check us when the trailer's yeah. rolling. It's for sure. It's done. Toronto. It's, uh, so Toronto. It's, done, it's done. Tiff. So this movie's actually got a good bit of buzz going behind it already. Um, I heard about it a few months ago with uh, like an article on IO9 or something. It tickles a couple of very special spots in me. So let's take a little look at it. Mainly your King Kong and Godzilla, Godzilla. testicles. Oh, yeah. Like they're, they're that size. They're, that's how easily they're tickled. So we'll take a look at it's meaty. <laughs> let's take a look at Colossal. See what it's about. Again, I want a red band. Why all the green band trailers? You're not going to get a red you band. You don't remember anything last night, huh? I got really melodramatic, didn't I? You told me that you weren't really on a vacation. Like him! Yep. That you've been looking for a job for a year, and your boyfriend didn't work out. You are out of control. What? I've packed two things. They're in the bedroom. What? And since you didn't Don't have any money, you decided to move back yeah. here. It's a terrible, terrible idea. Oh, you get nervous. Right? <laughs> Don't remember anything. The unprecedented nature of this big You know you're watching something that's going to change the course of history. You all right? Yeah. Uh, it's this nervous tick I have. I get this itch. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thing appeared. Same place. Exact same place. But it just made a bunch of weird hand gestures. Hitler, hey you! <laughs> hey you! Jesus! <laughs> I'm just thinking of the, the time delay between her doing something as well. It's dancing. It's dancing like. I don't know, I, that's. You know, her Wi Fi is <laughs> shit. pretty goddamn good. Pretty aggressive, I guess. I mean, like, no signal problem. Ow! What was that? What was that? A helicopter. The one with, the, with like, the pilot and everything? <laughs> I feel terrible. I really kind of hope that they. I love that actually the Kaiju's been um, a Korea. A Korea. To keep it cool. Oh my god, these people are looking at us. She's the monster. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they could market it as like, you know, uh, sort of like the way they did Deadpool. It's like, it's a chick flick. The guys are gonna love. <laughs> the know? guys are gonna love. Oh man. Uh, I need to bring that back up again so I can get the logo at the end of it here. But. I am on board with that all the way, man. That's actually that that looks adorable. Yep. It doesn't it doesn't look it doesn't look just funny. It looks adorable. <laughs> nah, I'm actually not doing that. Right. Um, I mean, the only thing is it's missing is actually a couple of um, Jaegers jumping yeah. in in the middle of the fight and just beating the crap out of her. Some sort of reference. To, I mean, I think I think Legendary have some sort of sort of connection to this. I think they had to get permission to use the Kaiju. Well, the phrase kaiju? Yeah. Legendary instead pictures? Just, instead of just a monster. Aye. Well, um, we'd be able to use the phrase. Because it's actually by iconic kaiju. If, if, there, if only there was some way for me to check that. <laughs> check to make sure there was actually a... Yeah, that's what, what I'm saying name. is correct. But Wait, um, I mean, kaiju's actually a name owned by like, Toho, if it was anybody, though. Because uh, they coined the phrase for um, Godzilla and all the other ones. But I think they've got a license for that. Oh, Virgil. So that would, the people, that, that would mean the second unit stuff being shot in Korea, I imagine. So, um... Yeah, I don't know the company that actually they're involved in. But, um, conceptually, this is actually really entertaining. Especially the fact that I imagine this movie was literally shot in two different places at exactly the same time. To do one bit and the other bit. To do the, uh, the monster animation. That, what do you think of the monster design? It looks like a giant Groot with horns. It doesn't, it doesn't look threatening, but it's actually obviously it threatening just by its sheer size. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's kind of got, it's kind of got that sort of gremlin thing to it. 
like almost like frills and kind of like bone structure to the head and stuff. Yeah, like it reminds me of Spike actually. Um, trying to, I'm trying to. There's a, there's creatures I imagine in my head that actually reminds me of, but it, actually, out of all the kaiju, all the creatures and stuff, I might have actually been cool if they actually had done if this had been linked in with like Koho or something like it with like Gamera as a friend of the children, well, also controlled by a woman. I. I think it's not. It's. I think there's some. Uh, I would love for them to actually, you know, I don't know. It's quite a big name mm. in Hollywood, so I think it would be nice if they tie that into some of those somewhere. Oh, the other movies. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Even if you're, even if, just a small if you're going to do King Kong vs. Godzilla, and you actually find out they're going, to, yeah. So if you get King Kong vs. Godzilla, and not just that, you end up actually having a King Kong vs. Godzilla. And the chick from and, Colossal shows up to kind of help out King and Kong, can, you know, cause that's <laughs> or one Godzilla. They can, that's one they can control. Because yeah. you've seen her in that trailer where she's, uh, I don't know if she's going to be squaring up the people trying to rob her in the fucking playground. But look, she looked like she was going to start a fight or fight something. Right. And she's not fighting the military. She got a bit weird when it's like, oh, she didn't like it that? in the head. Yeah, yeah. That. Unless, unless it's actually a self preservation thing where she starts, because she feels pain whenever the creature feels pain. Yep. So if they kill the creature, um, will she die? Or yeah, will that's she just what that. Really bad over. <laughs> well, it feels like she, the whole thing started because she had a hangover. Mm-hmm. Nope. Studio Toho. Because the kaiju and the freezing. Oh. <laughs> so before they actually start production, they said, it's kind of like this. But if this Have girl is controlling a Godzilla this. film, <laughs> you've seen a creature where it would beat up uh, kind of so essentially so imagine some of the budget went to that whenever they did find yeah, investors yeah. essentially like could you get toho to go away please <laughs> <laughs> like just, can you just pay toho and like toho gonna give us money all right we're putting that into the net. shin godzilla movie budget <laughs> oh man uh, that, yeah, that's, that's good, good. That, that, I, that, i'm so glad we have the back here for picking up stuff like that <laughs> because to, uh, studio toho um are they are litigious they're they've been in litigious bunch in the past for people making use of their image and stuff anytime you refer to godzilla in the background of a movie they might actually be a little bit stuffy about it because that's their that's one of their big big fans and stuff but um i mean to me it's the only one i can think of for them i mean uh, yeah no, i mean you wouldn't know it's, you just recognize the name from the godzilla movies pretty much but um colossal Coming out to us when, by any chance? Do we actually have it recently? Because they've already been doing the tours. Right, sweet. They did say coming this April, but April 7th. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Sony like, just next week. Yeah. Oh, well, live. The UK date. UK date, yeah. So we're probably chatting like it might be the week after. I've, I've got a feeling that this is one of those movies that's not going to get a big release over here. So you might have to actually find a cinema that actually has shown it. Yeah. So, um... Dublin or Belfast. Dublin or Belfast, Belfast would be the most likely chance ones with um, bigger theatres. But I, I think I, I think this would be I would like to see this sort of be like the John Wick or that type of film this year. Yeah. You know, it's like one of those films like people comes out of nowhere it. and yeah. And, you know, because it's got your man there. I can't remember his surname because uh, I, I think at one time I mixed up fucking Ed. Uh, what do you call it? Meaning from the Hangover. Ed. Uh, Nope, can't remember his name. Yeah, I remember. But he, 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 that's the actor that was in the uh, the remake of the National Lampoon movies, wasn't it? The Vicky. Yes, Jesus. Sudeikis. Um, yeah. He was wasn't in the last. No, was there was a, no. There was a movie called Vacation that was actually like a. Oh, the sequel. I was his. I played his son. Yeah, yeah. And he was in We Are the Others. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe that's well. But uh, no, he. I I find him. I find him very funny. Um. Ed Helm, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that the, this is actually going to be a charming, entertaining, adorable movie. And yeah, it'll be the Deadpool. Like it's a movie your boyfriend, girlfriend. Yeah, this is a date come movie. on, ladies. This film is for you. No, you've been no. dumped. <sighs> you've been you've been torn off out by your boyfriend. You become a, a monster. You, be, you, you become a <laughs> monster because you're a monster. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it, it'll make you feel better in the morning. It's better than a hangover, yeah. you know? No, right. I, I know, we, I, between the three of us, we know that they have girls that would go, or women that would go and see this film, no bother at all. Like, so I think, I, I don't think, think it's, it's a good broad market. I think it's a, it's a broad market because it's entertaining, it's a good comedy. I don't think it's actually like gender specific, but it's definitely a good date movie. Yeah, it's a definitely kind of movie you actually would go on a date with. Be it yeah, uh, man, woman, or vegetable, dates. whatever you prefer to take on your dates. Um, but yeah, 
colossal i'm looking forward to this I, i'm going to I'm actually literally i'm going to go and look right after this and book myself a ticket that's that's how much i'm actually looking forward to this nice so like this train the hype train is stopping i've been and picking up a one. giant kaiju to carry on to the next station glad with character train but we can't here at hype train no bother at all no the, they literally the kaiju will just lift us up and carry us to the next stage yeah you <laughs> be subway surfing just riding on top of it so um guys thank you very much for watching if you actually thank enjoyed you. our opinions and thoughts on colossal and the fact that it's coming out really soon and we're trying to tell you guys to go and see it then um make sure to hit the subscribe button up here floating around somewhere in this space over there Nothing and over to do with the x-men no and over the top of comedy there is actually another box that actually says hype train that'll be the playlist where you can check out other movies and other trailers that we've actually checked out here on the channel and right next to that is actually other things that have been on the channel recently or recommend specifically to you thank you very much for watching and i will see all you dudes next movie Thank you very much. Bye.